Although they were unfortunately only with us for one episode, Henry and Sam played a very important part in the overall story of The Last of Us, and their impact is sure to stick around, providing a deeper lesson than we might think. From bringing out new sides of Joel and Ellie to adding new elements to the story, they had a valuable role in the series. In this video, we are going to break down the lessons we learned from Henry and Sam, bringing us to five key takeaways that made Sam and Henry so important in episode five and the series as a whole. We'll provide a big prediction at the end. So let's dive in, starting with our first takeaway. Number one, the power of communication. Episode five featured Henry and Sam as some of the most impactful characters yet. Henry was a collaborator to Fedra, but now on the run while looking out for his younger brother, Sam. Sam is a young child who was sick from leukemia and is also deaf, which adds an additional Endure. element to the story. Survive. Endure. Survive. Fuck yeah, man. <laughs> Sam, by the way, was played by an incredible actor who was actually deaf, named Kevon Woodard, who did he did an amazing job, at only nine years old. Sam's character was not deaf in the original game, but him being deaf in the show had a very significant message. During the episode, we saw how Sam and Henry have such a strong bond that they are able to communicate through sign language, drawing, and other methods. In the world that's left, they understand each other more than anyone. Through this example, we see that Joel and Ellie have a similar dynamic, and that they have developed a strong understanding of each other. This is apparent throughout the episode now as they communicate often through eye contact or simply when Ellie explains to Henry that, quote, that's just how he sounds. When the group thinks that they have escaped for good, Ellie is even able to predict that Joel will be okay with Sam, and Henry coming with them to Wyoming. Another excellent example of their trust and communication is when the infected come out of the ground and chase everyone. Ellie is able to run away while knowing that Joel has her back, shooting at the infected and protecting her from above. Similar to Sam and Henry, Ellie and Joel have developed a deep understanding and trust of each other. In both groups, we see the importance of a strong bond and the ability to have unspoken communication in order to protect each other. This brings us to our next takeaway. Number two, a telling, mirror image of Joel and Ellie. Their communication and trust is just one example of how Sam and Henry provide the perfect parallel for Ellie and Joel. Maybe the biggest thing we gain from Henry and Sam is a mirror image of Joel and Ellie that gives us new perspective on our protagonists. For example, Henry has the same responsibilities as Joel, trying to protect someone he cares about against the dangers of the apocalyptic world, and fighting to bring them to safety. Meanwhile, just like Ellie, Sam's presence helps to bring a lighthearted element to a dark world. Sam plays this role with his drawings and art, while Ellie does with her sense of humor and her joke book. Sam and Henry's characters also help bring out the best sides of Ellie and Joel. Ellie has had to take on a lot of responsibility as a 13-year-old in the show, navigating the terrifying world of the infected and even shooting attackers. But the presence of Sam actually allows her to act like a child, like in the underground bunker when the two play soccer, when they read the comic book, and when the two laugh at the joke book together. These are all excellent examples of how Sam allows Ellie to bring out her inner child and see some joy. In their conversation the night at the hotel, Ellie tells Sam that she is afraid all the time, and that she is scared of ending up alone. Overall we see her open up more than she has before. We also see a new side of Joel thanks to Sam and Henry. Joel has been extremely cold throughout the series, but we see him open up a little in this episode. While Ellie and Sam are playing, Joel nearly apologizes for telling Henry that he was a rat earlier in the episode, saying that he understood why he did what he did for Sam. After all, the two can relate on having to do whatever it takes to protect someone. Then again, toward the end of the episode, Joel offers Henry the option to travel with them to Wyoming. For someone like Joel who doesn't trust anybody and refuses to help anyone they stumble across, this is a pretty telling moment, showing how he was willing to let them in. Both Henry and Sam unlocked sides of Ellie and Joel that we don't normally get to see, and it was refreshing to see those sides opened up, bringing us to our next takeaway. Number 3, The Power of Love and Sacrifice One of the most important lessons we learn from Henry and Sam is about the power of love and how it prevails. Even in an apocalyptic world, the willingness to do whatever necessary for the ones we love is a strong theme of The Last of Us so far. The relationship between Sam and Henry is yet another intensive example of the extensive lengths people are willing to go to in order to protect their loved ones. This lesson is one that we see multiple times throughout the season, as we see Frank and Bill, Joel and Sarah, and of course, Joel and Ellie, do extreme things to care for the other. When Henry tells Joel about how he sold out the leader of the Kansas City resistance movement to Fedra in order to get the medication to help Sam with his leukemia, Joel expresses his empathy and a rare display of emotion for him, telling Henry that he understands. The leader of the resistance movement in Kansas City. And Kathleen's brother. 
This makes sense, as Joel certainly knows what it's like to take extreme steps to protect someone close to him. Throughout the episode, we learn just how much Henry sacrificed to try and protect his little brother. If anything will stick with Joel and Ellie as they move forward, it will likely be that display of sacrifice and the willingness to do whatever it takes to protect the other. We definitely think the theme of sacrifice will come back later too. However, that's not the only thing that will stick with them, leading us to our next takeaway. Number 4, A Haunting Glimpse Into A Possible Future At the end of the episode, we see a tragic moment as Henry has to kill an infected Sam before turning the gun on himself. This is even darker when you think about how Henry said he has never had to kill anyone before. Even though this episode closely followed the video game, it was still one of the most heartbreaking moments of the series so far. Not only was the moment gut-wrenching on its own, but it also puts into perspective the difficult challenge that Joel and Ellie face, and serves as a harrowing reminder of the risks that exist for the two of them like Henry with Sam. At this point, Joel's main purpose is to look out for Ellie. She is his main purpose for continuing forward despite all the challenges they face. If he lost Ellie the same way that Sam lost Henry, we can't imagine what Joel would do next. After all, this episode spends the whole time building up the two pairs as very similar to each other. There is no doubt that this is also in Joel's mind, as it puts right in front of them a demonstration of their possible fate. We hope that this moment is not foreshadowing for something terrible to happen to Joel and Ellie. And, on top of everything, their deaths are a reminder that no one is safe from the dangers of the apocalyptic world of the infected. Now, for our fifth and final takeaway. Number 5, The Meaning of Ellie's Note In the final scene of the episode, we see Ellie and Joel overlooking the graves they placed for Henry and Sam. As they do, we see the board that Sam was writing on placed on his grave. And Ellie had simply written I'm sorry on the board. This leaves us wondering what exactly Ellie is sorry for. To understand her mindset, we have to look at the night before. In the hotel that night, Joel tells Henry that, quote, it's easier for kids because they don't have anybody depending on them. This line right here shows us that it wasn't easy for Ellie at all, since she had Sam depending on her, and she feels like she let him down. Ellie was trying to protect Sam, but instead believes she failed him. Ellie also seems to get a better understanding of Joel through this feeling, as she now knows what it's like to look after someone and try to keep them safe, only to end up losing them. We can only imagine how this will impact Ellie and Joel as they continue forward. After they bury Henry and Sam, Ellie is already cold and emotionless, telling Joel to hurry up as they continue west. This is a sign of Ellie growing more and more resentful of the world and possibly losing the child in her altogether, and we wonder how it will affect her going forward. We can assume that this moment has hardened Ellie the same way that Joel has become hardened by his past, but we will have to wait and see how things develop. Fortunately, episode 6 will be released next Sunday, February 19th on HBO Max, and we'll be here to break it down when it is. So there we have it. All the reasons why Sam and Henry were so important to The Last of Us. What did you think of Sam and Henry's characters? How do you think this episode will change Joel and Ellie moving forward? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss any of our future analysis surrounding The Last of Us. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.